today I'm back with another reading vlog. It's currently July. I was gonna say it's June, but it's July 3rd, 2020 at like 11 a.m. I have a job interview, apprenticeship interview at 1 p.m. So I'm just like a big ball of stress right now. If you guys don't know, I'm dropping out of teacher's college and going to school to become an ECE, which is like an early childhood educator. So I had like a meeting with one of the girls I went to U of T with. Her mom is like head of ECE at some company for an area that I live around and she set up this interview for me because when I talked to her to help me with my application to college she like liked what I was talking about and was like how about you just like do the apprenticeship program with us and like work for us and I was like yes please so now I have to go through the interview process but I am the worst at interviews so I am just like freaking out right now like I still have so much time before the interview but this is what I do I just stress and then I fail at the interview and then I cry so it's gonna be a good time you know it's gonna be a great weekend but yeah that's the plan for today day is interview and then I think Will is coming over because he's in Hamilton today. If you guys don't know the whole Will story then um, follow me on Twitter because there's like updates about it all the time because I'm obsessed but um, basically I'm seeing a guy named Will and he was my neighbor when he was eight years old so like he's two years younger than me it's not creepy I swear but he was my neighbor he moved away and then he was like in our neighborhood last Saturday and we started talking and then he was like I'm gonna sweep you off your feet and I was like hey, good luck with that because I've known him since he was eight so he's still like the little eight-year-old to me at least he was he's not anymore he's won me over but yeah so he's coming over um he'll probably be in the vlog who knows he's a little camera shy so we'll see how that goes in regards to like reading though um I'm still doing my net galley ERGs trying to get it up to 80% I'm at 74 right now I'm still reading a wicked magic by Laura Sab Bastion, Sasha, Lauren, Sasha, something like that. I'll insert a picture here because it's on my Kobo so you can't see it. But I am 67% in. It's about these two girls, Dan and Liz, who are dabbling in magic. Um, they end up doing a spell that goes wrong which causes Liz's boyfriend Johnny to go missing. Their friendship like breaks up because of this and then Liz decides that she's going to try to get Johnny back so she needs the help of Dan but Dan doesn't really want to be into the magic scene anymore. She has a whole new life now. Oh, she has a new best friend named Alexa who is also hiding some secrets and involved in magic some way and it's like the story of that. It's taking me forever to read only because I've been spending so much time with Will so I have not been reading at all which is really bad for this channel so yeah that's what the reading plan is I'm probably going to go read now to distract myself before the interview even though I should probably like do some research on the company and stuff but I'm not gonna do that like I think I know what I'm talking about I don't know I'll update you guys on the interview once it happens but I'm nervous hey. oh, no. so well, we already had this cut, our so. interview and um, I don't know how it went you didn't vomit. We are going to get ice cream to drown my sorrows. Oh, stop it. No, we're going to the library to pick up mom's book. Finally get over Because she's a hands. reader too. You don't have any options at my house at all. Like none. She's not allowed to read my books. She is. She just doesn't like my books. I read some of them. She does. She reads some. So I word vomited a lot and um, they just, I would bleh, and then they would go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What were they doing with their hands? What is they that? They were writing stuff down. Oh, okay. And then um, I I would just, you know, talk a lot. And then they would ask another question. And it would be a repeat of the same word vomit. And I straight up was not having a good time. But then they asked for my references. So we'll keep you updated. Keep you posted. <laughs> yeah. Tell them what you're doing. I'm putting name tags on shirts. For what? My high-low apparel company. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a tie-dye company that donates 10% of proceeds to juvenile diabetes because I'm type 1 diabetic. <laughs> All right. Tell us your life story. No, thank you. <laughs> we got kids coming. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> oh, God. What are you doing? I'm doing your work for Why you. Why are you doing my work <laughs> for me? Because you take forever to do everything. Apparently, I'm too slow at doing oh anything. Oh, my God. It drives Stop. me crazy. Stop it. Okay, this would have taken you at least two hours and I'm done in like 20 minutes. And? You're never gonna be able to run a business. Sure. I run a business just fine, thank you. <laughs> High low apparel if you're wondering. Go check it out. None of them are gonna able to buy it because it's 
They're all from the States. Okay, we'll figure something out. You're gonna learn how to ship? Yes. Okay. Okay, so what are we missing? Um, we're still not done. Oh, okay, you said okay, and then I thought Cause, we were finished. Cause, 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 cause I was trying to figure out where the shirt goes, cause you're wanted all organized by... Because I, you know... Yeah, I know, because I have to do it all. You know what, you're trying your best, and that's what matters. I'm proud of you. Apparently my best isn't good enough, folks. Excuse me. What, what are you confused for? You did two Ashley Burks. Okay. you already had one done. I think. Uno momento. So I can't have nice things. We can have nice things. We just can't have nice organized In a timely things. manner. Yes. <laughs> I literally went through and organized all of them, too. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I wrote Ashley Burke. Did you order two things? Is that why? No. I sneezed. Bless you. Watermelons. <laughs> You're never going to sneeze now. Okay, I'm wrong. <gasps> On record, too. <laughs> So we're only missing one shirt, it turns out. So you were wrong again. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Don't draw. That's going to bleed through, and no, I'm going to have someone's not. name tattooed on my arm for a week. Oh. Jay. Hello. It's now Saturday, and I'm about to go to Will's house to help him with his tie-dye thing. He's finally starting to dye shirts today. Which is exciting, he has like 50 that he has to do. So I'm going over just to like help any way I can. I think we're going in the pool as well. Um, reading wise, I did do some reading this morning. I started Goddess in the Machine. I think it's by someone like Beth Laurie Johnson, something like that. I'll insert a picture here. But I got to like 71 pages. It's about this girl who was put into a like chamber where they like put you to sleep and then you're supposed to wake up however many years later so she was supposed to go to this new planet and wake up a hundred years into the future but she ended up waking up a thousand years into the future so it's basically about her like discovering that everybody who she knew and loved is dead now and then she gets to this new planet she's awakened and they think that she's like a goddess and it's like that story but like i said i'm only 71 pages in it's pretty good so far i'm liking it but it's just like starting to pick up so i don't really have too much to say about it but yeah i have to go get gas because his house is like 40 minutes away and i've gone like every day this week so uh yeah our gas is not doing well so i'm going to go fill up the tank and then i'll probably film while i'm there because he's super into it i don't know why he like likes the whole vlog idea so clips will come i guess ow <laughs> look at that fine piece of ass <laughs> i am confused You're such a handyman his head is amazing you're doing amazing, honey. Why do you need a step stool? Because I can't fucking see it. Because <laughs> you're way tall. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> How many idiots does it take to change a light bulb? Are you calling me an idiot? <laughs> I'm glad you caught on. <laughs> wow. Ladies and gentlemen, my wonderful girlfriend. How's your step stool going? Fuck off, I'm short, okay? <laughs> This is not, let's entertain my fans or myself with needless banter. I'm going to watch this every night. Okay. So it's now Sunday and I'm tanning. I was supposed to go to Will's today to help him dye his shirts, but I figured he needs to do things himself and also I'm just a distraction. So I'm staying home today to hang out with my mom. But yeah, I'm tanning. Usually I stay out here for like an hour. Usually I'm either listening to an audiobook or listening to music. Today I'm in a very like Taylor Swift mood, so I've been jamming out to Taylor Swift. I've only been out here for like two minutes. So we got a while to go, but then plans I'm going to actually read, hopefully. I think I'm going to try to read more of A Wicked Magic just because I've been trying to read that book for two weeks now and I still haven't finished it. I'm still the same place I was at the beginning of this vlog because I was too nervous about my interview to be able to focus enough to read. So that's the plan. I am now on page 81 of Goddess in the Machine, so like not that much farther than I was yesterday. I listened to like a chapter this morning. So, 
yeah, we're not doing very well in this reading vlog. So, I mean, this is basically a non-reading vlog. So it's just a vlog where I've literally done nothing. So, so sorry if you're still watching, but I'm gonna upload it anyways because I don't have a video <laughs> to film because I have been spending way too much time with Will. So, sorry, not sorry. Now, like four o'clock on Sunday and I have spent the entire day tanning and I redid my nails, so that was a thing. And then I've been scrolling through social media. So I have not been doing what I said I was going to do, as in reading. I did read like a little bit more of Goddess in the Machine. I'm on page 133 now and it's basically her like learning how to be a goddess by going to like goddess lessons. And I am in love with the like dynamic between the two main characters because like, I don't know if it would be considered like an enemies to lovers or not. There's definitely tension between the two of them, but I don't know if it's considered like that they're enemies or not but basically Zayd who is the guy is like her almost bodyguard but like not her bodyguard he's the person who's like teaching her how to come across as a goddess to his people because he has this huge plan of like overthrowing the king um yeah there's definitely some little sexual tension going on between them and I'm hoping that it develops more than it is right now because like I also don't know if it would be considered like slow burn or not because they have kissed but it was like a shut up stop talking people are listening to us kind of kiss so like does that count is that a spoiler i don't know possible spoiler alert nobody's watching the video at this point anymore y'all clicked off of it i'm thinking that i very much enjoyed them together but i don't know if that's actually going to be a thing or not but i'm going to go actually read a book and not scroll through my social media hopefully i just have an addiction problem i'm not sure if i'm going to listen to more of goddess machine or if i'm going to switch to a wicked magic because like i said it has been freaking like two weeks of me trying to read that book so i really do need to actually pick that up and finish it but is that gonna happen We'll see if I want to hold a book or not, or if I just feel like lying here and listening, because then it'll be Goddess in the Machine. I guess I will update you guys soon on which one I choose, and you know, if reading actually happened or not. But hopefully this turns into a reading vlog as of now. Since it's Sunday night, me and my mom always watch 90 Day Fiance, so I'm ending the vlog now so that I can go do that, but I figured I would update you guys on what I've read today. So for A Wicked Magic, I read up to page 270. So I'm getting to the part where the three girls are going to rescue Johnny, which is super exciting because something's finally gonna happen. I'm hoping that like somebody's gonna like die or there's gonna be like a huge epic battle, between Cassian and the girls, but I guess we'll see what happens when I read it tomorrow, I guess, which I am not going to film a vlog for that. So technically I'm not gonna be reading it tomorrow because Cramathon starts tomorrow. So I will be reading my Cramathon TBR. If you haven't seen that video, check it out because that's what the next vlog is gonna be. And for Goddess in the Machine, I read up to 172. There's a lot more sexual tension and the guy is starting to like think about, you know, should I act on it? Should I not act on it kind of situation? So I'm here for it. And then we're getting more of like information about the king or well, they call him the gov, which is basically the king. And it's like his backstory about like how he became the king, but I'm pretty sure he's getting like controlled by somebody else. So it's kind of interesting and I'm excited to learn more, but I need to go watch 90 Day Fiance now. So thank you for joining me for this not really reading vlog, kind of reading vlog. I don't know. I'm really sorry. I've been spending a lot of time with the boy. So hopefully Cramathon will be where I actually read, uh, question mark, but um, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Yeah.